How to make a model? Well, we start by drawing the model system. For example, a small food web of nitrogen, phytoplankton, zooplankton and detritus can be represented with boxes and arrows. The boxes are the state variables and with the arrows we show how matter flows through the system. For example, grazing of zooplankton and phytoplankton is represented by the F2 arrow. Part of this grazing is converted to feces and ends up in the detritus pool. Dead zooplankton also end up in the detritus pool and zooplankton excrete nutrients. And detritus is also converted into nutrients. And nutrients are taken up by phytoplankton to perform photosynthesis. These flows are rates and so they have units of mass, here mass of nitrogen, per unit of time. And this system is closed, so mass should be conserved. This means that the change in the sum of all variables should be zero. The change in each variable, or the mass balance equations, are composed of everything that comes in and everything that goes out. Note that these flows are summed, so they should all have the same units. Now this is our model but the exact mathematical expressions of the flow still need to be filled in. These expressions can be linear, but they can also be saturating, which is often the case for consumption terms. We can also write a chemical model. For example, we can model the effect of nitrogen dioxide on ozone. Under the influence of solar radiation, Nitrogen dioxide dissociates to form nitric oxide and atomic oxygen. Atomic oxygen reacts with oxygen to form ozone. And ozone reacts with nitric oxide to form nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. So we have five state variables. The concentration of nitrogen dioxide. The concentration of nitric oxide. The concentration of atomic oxygen. The concentration of oxygen and the concentration of ozone. For these variables we need to write the mass balance equations. And these are again given by the incoming and outgoing flows. For example, the change in atomic oxygen is given by reaction 1, in which atomic oxygen is created, minus reaction 2, in which atomic oxygen is used. And the change in ozone is given by reaction 2 minus reaction 3. To define the mathematical expressions for these flows, we now use the chemical reactions. For example, in reaction 2, one atomic oxygen molecule reacts with one oxygen molecule to form ozone. The probability that these molecules react is proportional to their concentration. So the rate of the chemical reaction is the concentration of atomic oxygen multiplied by the concentration of oxygen. Now we only need to multiply this expression with the proportionality constant and we're done. Well actually, we can even simplify this model because for the atmosphere we can assume that the oxygen concentration is constant. When we fill in all these mathematical expressions, our model is complete and we can use the equations to do simulations, for example in R 